Hello, so today we are on day 21. So let's go ahead and look at our learning targets. So your learning target for today is I can read the text Earth's Water and identify new learning. So today you're gonna to read the first two sections of, of the text Earth's Water and identify new learning. So if you go into your day 21 checklist and you click right here, Earth's Water, it will bring you to the text right here. So if we look here, this Earth's Water is going to be addressing the focus question, why is water important? And there's a whole list of words to know right here. So if we look at our table of contents, our first two sections are water everywhere and different forms of water. Then changing water starts on page 11, so we're going to be reading through page 10 today. And then, of course, our glossary is right at the very back, and all these words are defined for us if we need them. So, let's go ahead and get started. Water everywhere. Water fills oceans, lakes, and ponds, and it flows in rivers, streams, and underground. It is even in the air. Frozen water is found on some parts of Earth as snow and ice. Water covers over two-thirds of Earth's surface. Salt water in the oceans make up most of Earth's water. Earth has much less fresh water. Many plants and animals need fresh water to survive. So in our image right here, it says the dark parts in this picture of Earth are water. Some of the fresh water is above ground, while other fresh water is groundwater underneath Earth's surface. What are some ways you use Earth's water? So this, these images are just showing us some examples. So we can see a little boy here spraying his dog down, maybe giving his dog a bath. You can see that we swim in our water. We can go... Um, Oh, what is that called? Whitewater rafting on the water. We can use water as our irrigation in dams to help power, and um, it's available in streams for us to go visit. So groundwater right here is a bolded word, which means that we can find it back in our glossary to help us if we don't remember what groundwater is. <clears throat> So groundwater is a noun. It's water held underground in soil or rock, often feeding springs and wells. Let's keep reading. Different forms of water. Liquid water is the most common state of water on Earth. When you pour liquid water into a container, it takes the shape of that container. So this image right to the right says each of these containers holds four cups of water. Liquid water is always moving, even if you can't see it move. Water moves in rivers and streams due to currents, the constant flow of moving water. Lakes and ponds are standing bodies of water. The liquid water in them moves slowly. Surface and underwater currents cause ocean water to move with waves forming and crashing. Winds, the moon, and the sun affect the strength of ocean currents. Not all water is liquid. When liquid water gets very cold, it freezes and forms ice. Ice is another state of water, solid water. Ice can float on liquid water. People form ice into different shapes. You've probably made ice cubes to cool down a drink. Artists even carve ice sculptures. So our image right up here is just of that, and it says ice can be carved into many shapes. Much of Earth's frozen water is at the North and South Poles, the coldest areas on Earth. The most common places to find glaciers are at the poles. These huge masses of ice store much of Earth's fresh water. So our caption says, sheets of ice cover Earth's South Pole. So this is a picture of South, the South Pole. Some of Earth's water is an invisible, is an invisible state as a gas called water vapor. When it's always invisible, while it's always invisible, water vapor is all around us. When it is hot outside, more water vapor fills the air than when it's cold outside. Humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air. 
On hot and humid days, the air feels thick with lots of water vapor concentrated in the air. So, concentrated right here is gathered or collected together. So it's telling us the water vapor is gathered together. It says, what states of water can you see in this picture? Well, we can see right here what looks to be a little lake and the water is in liquid form. We can also see back here on the mountain, it looks like there's some um, snow there, which would be uh, frozen or in a solid form. And we can see the clouds up in the sky, um, which is it in the form gas or water vapor. Those clouds are gonna get filled up and eventually rain down. So the next page starts on our next topic, so we will stop on page 10. Now, after listening to that and reading or reading pages 4 through 10 of the informational text, you are going to at least list a minimum of three facts that you learned while reading this text in this box below. All right, so that's your assignment for today. Good luck.